Thank you, Jehovah God, because of your love and mercy. Thank you because of this far that Jehovah you have brought all of us, O oh God. We are so grateful and we are thankful to you, dear Lord. Thank you because you have blessed us. And Lord, it has come yet another time for us to listen to your word, O oh God. Lord, may you minister unto us, our Father. May you speak to us, O King of glory. May you use me as your vessel this morning and let your will be done. Bless all of us as we trust and obey your word, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. We all say, Amen. Tafadhali ni salimie na mkono wakulia. Sema a big amen. Bwana sifiwe. Mkono wakushoto, hallelujah. Mikono yote miwili, bwana sifiwe. Pigia yesu makofi. Shangwe na vigele gele. Amen, amen. We may take our seats. Amen. This morning, I am born again, and I love the Lord so, so much as my personal Savior. This far, the Lord has been faithful to me, and I keep trusting in Him. The Word of God keeps on telling us that we wait upon the Lord. David waited patiently upon this God, and he even sang the Psalm number 40. He said, I waited patiently unto the Lord, and for sure He came. He not only came, but he heard my cry and answered my prayers. And he also uh, got me out of the slimy pit, and he put my foot on a step high. And he gave me a new song and a new testimony. And so I urge all of us that we keep waiting upon the Lord, because when we wait upon him, he will renew our strength. Buona sifiwe. It is good to be happy when we come to the house of our Father. As I always say, in this house, we receive the joy that comes from this God. We receive peace and we receive the blessings of God. The blessings that we can't find from any other place, but we find them from the temple and the house of our Father. Uh, it is a wonderful uh, weekend whereby our presbytery, the Nairobi North Presbytery, we have a convention that is going on, and particularly at Kasarani East in Mweki. But of course, because, because it is our presbytery in all our parishes, we are preaching the same theme of walking in the light. Tell your neighbor if you have one, walk in the light. That is our theme for the convention, the conference that is there, and the crusades that are taking place at that place. And we are blessed because this is what the Lord is speaking to us at this moment about walking in the light. And this is the message that we have today. As it, was, it has been read to us from the book of Isaiah chapter number 2, from verse 1 to verse number 5. Actually, the theme is coming from verse number 5. Ile inasema, uh, it was Isaiah who called the people of Israel. Na kawambia, come, let us walk in light, the light of the Lord. Praise be to God. Isaiah, the major prophet, one of the major prophets of God, the Bible says that a message came to him. It was a message to remind the people of the last days that will be coming. And so Isaiah received this message and he was passing this message to the people of Jerusalem and Judah, people who were chosen of God. People who were the children of our father. The Bible who were in Asamaya Kwamba, they were a people that were not known. But God chose them. He called them his own, his children. They became the chosen generation. And so God took care of them. And this message came to them, the people of Jerusalem and Judah. And they were reminded that in the last days, or in the yes, in the last days, that the Lord will come. And when this God comes, that his mountain, the mountain of his temple, it will be established on top of other mountains, meaning all the other mountains will bow down to the mountain of our Father. And everybody, every person will be running to this mountain. And that is why Isaiah went ahead and told these people, let us go to the mountain of our Father, because all other mountains that surround us, all other mountains, 
mountains that are in our, in our lands and in our country, they have failed us. But in the mountain of our Father, there are blessings that come from there. In the mountain of our Father, we are heard. Our prayers are heard in that mountain. In the mountain of our Father, things do not remain the same again. And so he spoke about the mountain of this God, the mountain of the Lord's temple, that it will be uh, established above all other mountains. And then he continued to say, not only the mountain, but in those last days, that people will be put into judgment and all nations will be judged according to what they have been doing. And this is why he told the Israelites, come my people, let us walk in the light so that when those last days come, we will not be found in the judgment list. When those days will come, we will not be judged harshly, but when we walk in the light of our Father, then we will be prepared to seek the Lord and even dwell and eat together with this God. And this is what the Lord is telling us, that the last days are coming. Judgment is coming. If you read the book of Hebrews chapter number 9 verse number 27, that we all of us have an appointment with death. But after the appointment or after that appointment, we shall receive the judgment. And the question is, again, if you read the book of Romans chapter number 8, says that there is no more condemnation for those who are already in Jesus Christ. Meaning, those who have already started walking in the light, those who are already in Jesus Christ, then there is no more condemnation for them. That is why Isaiah called these people, people of Jerusalem, people of Judah, and the Lord is calling us people of Thome, people of Nairobi North Presbytery, the Christians of our Father. The Lord is calling us, come let us walk in the light. Last week, uh, in the weekend, I was speaking somewhere and their theme was almost the same. The book of Psalm, chapter number 119, verse number 105. Who in kwamba that your word is a lamp to my feet and, you are, and, and, and the light to my path. And so we are speaking about the light. And I want to believe the Holy Spirit of God is speaking to the church about walking in the light. It was another convention in another place, another presbytery. And that is the same theme. And today the Lord is again speaking to us and telling us, come, let us walk in the light. Because the last days are about to come. The last times are at hand. And we need to prepare ourselves. And when I was looking at the word light or walk in the light, it is being connected with our maker. It is having the fellowship with this God. It is our, our, our relationship with our maker. Like what John wrote uh, in the letter of First John. He says that at the, we are telling you what we have heard, what we have seen, that we need to have a fellowship with our father. We need to walk with this God. That this God is light and there is no darkness at all in him because light and darkness, they do not go together. They cannot mix. Hakuna vile zinaweza changanya. Like uh, we are speaking about light when we had blackout almost uh, like so it's, it is, I think there is something there is something about light. God is speaking to us about light. When there is that blackout when light comes, or when you get to a house and there is total darkness, and you switch on your, your, the, you, you, you switch on the, the electricity, the darkness, I think it disappears with a very high speed because you don't even see it again. Like, it disappears. Because light and darkness, they can't dwell together. And this is what the Lord is telling us. That as we take the step of faith and decide like what Isaiah told these people, like what the Lord is telling us today, 
Come, let us walk in the light. Number one, we need to have a connection with our Father. We need to know who our God is. There are many times we have put our trust in men. We have put our trust in things. We have put our trust in wealth. We have looked up to many things. But the Lord is telling us, I am the light. And if you say you have the light and you still do not go godly way, then you live a lying life. You are a liar. That is what the book of John says. First John says that it is you, that the truth is no longer in you. Being walking in light, it is being led in the leadership of the Holy Spirit. We always confess the, the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Every time we seek the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, because I always say, or we always say, and we know that God the Father sits at the seat of throne. Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of God the Father. And the Holy Spirit of God is the one who was sent to us. God, the Holy Spirit, who dwells in us. Whenever we say our bodies are the temple of our Father, they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so we are always in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. When we allow the leadership of the Holy Spirit in our lives, then it is a mark of walking in light with our God. Because many times we have been led by things. We have been led by people. We have been led, but they have taken us to dark places. They have taken us to darkness. And the Lord is is telling us, come let us walk in the light of our Father. When I was speaking on Sunday, I was telling those people that when the psalmist, the psalmist was writing that psalm of Psalm 119, those days there were no electricity. There were no torches. There were no gadgets that can bring light. Those people, they were walking journeys. They were walking day in, day out. They were in journey. So when night comes, because they could walk in the, during the day and at, uh, at night. And at night, they were led by uh, th th that firewood. They were being led by that. And every time they could walk at night, using that light of a firewood, they made it on their way. They never stumbled on the way. They were not knocked by stones and any other thing. Even animals could see that light and they disappeared. And that is why the psalmist reached at a point and said, if I make this word of God my lamp to my feet, if this word of God become the light to my path, then I will be able to come out victoriously. Nothing will make me fall along the way. The word of God will be my light. The word of God will be my lamp. Jehovah will be my light on my path. I will not stumble in this path. No darkness will overcome me. And that is why he says, uh, the Bible says that in the beginning the word was there. The word was with God. And the word was, uh, the word is God. This light that they were talking about, this word that they were equating to the lamp and the, 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 the light to their path, it is God himself. And this is what the Lord is speaking to us, telling us, walk in the light. And Amanisha Kwamba, we walk with God. Tell your neighbor, walk with God. Last days are coming. The days that we are living in are so dark. The days that we are living in, they are very difficult. Things are not easy. They are not even becoming any easy. The, 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 the journey that we are trending in, it is full of darkness. There are many challenges that are coming to us. And let me tell you, we have not been promised that those dark times will not come to us. They will come. I have also come to confirm to us, dark days will come. Even David said, even though I will pass through the dark valley, that shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are staff and rod, they will protect me. We have not been promised easy days. We have not been promised a smooth walk. But what the Lord is telling us, walk with me. 
Make me your light and you will come out to the other side victoriously. Praise be to God. I have come to tell all of us, or the Lord is telling us, that it is our high time to walk in the light. Those dark times come. Sicknesses come. And they bring a lot of darkness in our lives. But when Jehovah is in charge, when the Lord becomes our light, we are more than victors. Praise be to God. We will be healed because the light of our Father brings healing. And even if we are not going to receive healing, because not all sicknesses the Lord will remove from us. Hallelujah. Remember what he told Paul. When Paul had a thorn in his flesh, he cried to him three times. I will not remove that thorn from you, but my grace will be sufficient enough for you. There are those sicknesses that the Lord will come. Because of his light, he will bring healing to our lives and to our health and to our bodies. There are other illnesses that he will say, he is him utasukumana nazo. Even Jesus Christ when he was praying and he was telling God, remove this cup of suffering from me, but it let your will be done. Sometimes you will not remove that cup, but the grace of God will be sufficient. Only when we walk in the light of our Father, only when we walk with this God, the light will give us enough grace. There are times we face rejection. There are times we face hatred. And these are dark points in our lives. You know, dark points, dark times, dark moments. What Nasema, they will always come. They will be there. They are unpredictable. But one good thing about them <clears throat> is that they have a reason. Those dark uh, moments when they come to our lives, they have a reason. Sometimes we may not know the reason behind that dark moment that we are undergoing. But one time along the journey, we will come to realize that I faced this because God had something for me. This was for a good reason for me. So those dark times will come. And so there are times that dark times, dark moments come through rejection and through hatred and sometimes we feel we are left out. Sometimes we feel we are abandoned. Even Jesus Christ on the cross, he cried and he called unto God, unto the Lord and he said, Father, Father, why have you abandoned me? Why have you forsaken me? Those times come. Those moments happen. But I thank God because those who have walked in the light, those who walk with our Father, the Bible says they have seen the light. And so brothers and sisters, in rejections, in times of hatred, in times of being left out, in times of being abandoned, I have come to tell us, make God be in charge of your life. People may leave you, people may forsake you, but we have one Father who will never leave you nor forsake you. Praise be to God. There are other times that we even have curses, dark times. People said things against our lives. People spoke things that affect us even today. What wali kuangalia wakasema hautaenda mbali. And now uh, I, uh, I made fun somewhere and I told them, people nowadays I see them taking selfie and asking, wale mulisema hatuta enda mbali hapa ni wapi? Because there were people who had said, kitambo hakuna mahali mutaenda, but because we walk with light, we walk in the light of our Father, we have a God who is in charge of our lives, then Jehovah will make us to go. And in those things that have tied, tied us up, in those words that were said against us, in those curses that maybe came to us, the Lord is telling us today, whenever there is light of our Father, then darkness can't be in charge. Darkness can't be found anywhere. And those curses, because they bring darkness in our lives. Today, when we decide to walk with this God, when we decide to walk in the light of our Father, every point of darkness, any curse that have come to us, anything that have ever been spoken against our lives, sometimes we even spoke to ourselves. And we said things that even today they affect us. 
there is light that has come. This light that will make, that will lighten your path and will make you to go far and reach to your destiny. Because it is not light of men. It is not light of K KPLC. It is not light of any other source. It is the light that comes from our Father. The light of the Lord. Praise be to God. Tell your neighbor, walk in the light. When we walk in the light, we are more than victorious. We are more than victors. We are winners. We are more than conquerors. We will conquer the battles. There are times we feel so down. There are times we feel we do not want to go on. There are times we see, we, 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 we feel we do not want to face tomorrow because things are becoming tough and tough. When we walk in the light, brothers and sisters, our path is lightened up. Our path, the Lord will lead us. That the Lord will become a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The Lord will be my guide. He will walk with me. My work is to follow him. Because he, has, he, he wants to, us to walk together. He wants us to have a fellowship with him. Like what John was saying in his letter. Akasema ya kwamba, the only way to have a fellowship with this God, it is to acknowledge him as God is our light. God is the source of our light. Thank you very much, brother. God bless you. Wana asifiwe. Wakati alikuwa nasema hivo, alikuwa namanisha ya kwamba that this God will walk before me. He will always lead me. So my work is only to follow the path. Uko kwanji akipata kuna kuna thorns anazitoa. Akipata kuna wezi, kuna wakora, kuna mambo mingi, he will clear them up for me. So my path will be lightened. My path will be straight. Like what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter number three and verse number five, that when you trust in this God, when you acknowledge him in all your ways, when you lean on him alone, he will make your path straight. The Lord will make our path straight. Kuna jia migi ama kuna mambo migi, our paths have not been made straight. We have stumbled on the way, not because we are not, we do not know, not because we are not believing, us, not because we do not trust in God, but because we decided to use our own light and to follow our own path. But today the Lord is telling us, make me your light. Walk in this light. And I will lead you. I will go with you. Kwa hiyo mambo wapo inafanya tuiname. Na tusikia ni kama moyo wetu umeinama. Tusikia ni kama tumeishua na nguvu. Tusikia ni kama kwamba Hatuna uwezo tena. We are so discouraged. When we look at our families, we look at our children, some, some of them, they have gone astray. And we are like, are these the children that we gave birth to? Ama wali chejua mahali. Are we really sure what we are having? And we feel discouraged. The Lord is encouraging us today. Make him your light. And things will be okay. Those things that trouble us so much. Those things that put us down. Those things that really wear us out. And we feel we are just tired. Because we become tired. When we make this God our light, he will bring the peace in our lives. When we walk in the light, there are three things that will happen. Of course, there are many things that happen. When we make God our light, when we walk with God, when we walk in the light of our Lord. Number one is that when we, whenever we walk with this God, whenever we walk in the light, he brings joy and comfort in our lives. You know, uh, when we are weighed down by burdens, when troubles come to our lives, but we have decided to make this God our light, and we, have, we are walking with him, we are going and putting him first in our lives, then we will receive the joy and comfort that comes from him. Now, joy comes not only when God has answered our prayers, because people may think that when we present our prayers to God and God answers our prayers, then we are happy. This joy that we are talking about and this comfort does not remove the troubles from us, does not remove those sicknesses from us, does not only do all those things, 
But in all things, in good times and even in bad times, when God have answered our prayers or not answered our prayers, when there is sunshine or there is rain, when in all those times, the joy becomes our portion and comfort becomes our happiness. And so we are able to walk. We are able to continue living. We are able to face tomorrow. Not that we have received everything. Not that we are now okay. We have not yet reached the perfection. We are still on the race, like what the Women's Guild have been telling us through their theme of the year, that we press on. In times of difficulties, we press on. Because we have not yet reached the perfection. We have not yet touched the rope. Bado tu kwambio ambazo zimewe kwa mbeleni mwetu. Tunakimbia. Not that we have reached bado. But the joy of the Lord becomes our everything. And when you are joyful, you will be able to sleep. You will be able to remove anger and bitterness. You will be able to forgive others. You will have an easy walk. Not people will be looking at you and they wonder, what is this that makes you happy? You don't have this. You do not have this. You do not earn this kind of money. You do not I mean, you do not have those things that people look at, those material things. But because you walk in the light, then the joy of the Lord is enough for you. That comfort that comes from God is enough for you. That is what Paul says in the book of Corinthians. That that God of all comfort, may he comfort you. That God who gives peace, the peace that surpasses all human understanding. That peace ca that can never be bought by money. That peace can, that can never be given by any human being. That peace that comes only from our Father is the peace that we receive. Na kuna kitu kizuri kama kuwa na amani. Peace is very important. That is one thing that, one benefit on one result of walking in the light of our Father. The other thing is that when we walk with this God, when we walk in the light, he will heal our relationship with him, our fellowship with our Father. We will have a renewed fellowship. The only thing we require today, brothers and sisters, is good to have a fellowship with men. It is good to have fellowship with people. It is good to have fellowship with other things. But the most important is your relationship with your maker. That is why Isaiah was preparing these people. Na nawambia ya kwamba, because last days are coming, because those last times are coming, we need to get ready. We need to be alert and watchful so that when the mountains, when all our hopes and our trust have been crushed, and now the only remaining mountain, the only remaining hope is God's. Then we will not be finished when those others will be finished. The Lord will take us together with him. The Lord will not judge us. We start walking in the light because those days are coming. You need a relationship with your father. You need a relationship with God. A relationship with God is where you do not care what people will say, how people see you, how people perceive you, how you see yourself, so long as you have a relationship with your God, you are good to go. There are many times we have looked at people and we wonder, what do I say, Manini? When they see me coming to the church, when they see me joining a district fellowship, when they see me joining a certain group in the church, what an yona namunagani, and we really ma ma uh, wonder so much. We really ask ourselves those questions. But let me tell you, people will not take us anywhere. They are good. But we need a relationship with our Father. If you have a neighbor, tell them you need a relationship with your maker. And so the Lord will heal our relationships. The Lord will heal our connections with him. The Lord will renew our testimonies. We will be testifying and telling of what God has done to us. And of course, the other thing that happens whenever we walk in the light of our Father, whenever we walk with this God, is that he eliminates, he removes 
every confusion in our lives. He removes every fear because confusion brings fear. Confusion brings doubt. Confusion brings non-believing. Sometimes we want to trust God, but on the other side we want to have a plan B. If God do it, well and good. If he doesn't do it, I have a plan B. Ile kuwa na a total belief in God. It eliminates every confusion. Sometimes we are confused because we do not have light. Whenever you get into the house, na nyumba yako na umeizoya sana, and there is darkness, there is blackout, we become confused. Like that day, that night, when light went out, most of people decided to sleep because there is nothing much you can do. There is a lot of confusion. There is a lot of disorganization. Even waking up the, other, the, the, the following morning, it becomes a problem because you are not sure where to start, where to end, how to do your thing. Some of our gadgets, they went off. Kila kitu kimeharibika, fridges, diozoizo. Everything was just in a confusion state. And this is what the Lord is telling us. Whenever we walk in darkness, when the light is not there, there is, we are in a state of confusion. But when we decide to walk with this God, when we decide to walk in the light, he gets rid of every confusion that comes to our lives. We have an easy life. We have an easy journey. An easy movement with our father. There was a time a, a, a class teacher of a school went to her class, her classroom, and told the, okay, that day, Ali Beba, the balloons. And uh, she gave each and every child a balloon. And you know, children, those preschool children, they enjoy such things. So they were very happy today. It's not about topics, it's not about maths, it's not about any other thing. Today, we have balloons. So they were very happy. The balloons were of different colors, red, blue, yellow, all of them. Sasa wakambiwa wapulize hizo balloons, each one of them. So they were very happy. They are putting the pressure into the balloons and tying them up and they are excited about the exercise. They were so happy about the exercise. And then the teacher gave them uh, a pen. And it, the teacher told the children, write your names on those balloons. Na wakandika majina. Yao, kila mtu na jina yake. So that you can label your balloon. Then he, the teacher told them, let's go to the next room. The next room wakukuwa na desks. It was just an empty room. So they were told to put the balloons in the room. And the ba balloons were mixed up. They were mixed up. And the teacher told them, now you have done it very well. Clap for yourselves. Now the next exercise. I want you to go and pick your own balloon. The one that you wrote your name and your color. And because now if it is yellow, there were many. Blue, there were many. White, there were many. So the children were there, they tried to check, they tried to check them, because everybody is busy looking for their balloons that are written their names. And they used a lot of time, they used a lot of, two hours were over, and none had gotten their balloons. So the teacher called them and told them, now, because you have not found your balloons, and now it is two hours, I want you to do this. Each one of you, go pick any balloon. Chukua balloon yeyote. Within two minutes, everybody had a balloon. And then the teacher told them, now because you see the name, can you give to the owner? Another two minutes, it was done job. Hallelujah. Because when there is no light, there is a lot of confusion. When there is no organization, when everybody wants to do things their own way, when the people do not want to allow the Holy Spirit of God to lead them, when people do not want to walk with God, they waste a lot of time. They miss a lot of blessings. They miss to reach their destinations. But whenever we are guided by the power of the Lord, we are guided by this light, and we walk with God, things become easy for us. We have fellowship with one another. Well, it, if these children knew from the word go, we only need to be a teamwork. 
We only need to have a fellowship. We only need to be one and decide. This thing is so simple. It will take us less than five minutes. But because there is no fellowship, there is no teamwork, there is no guidance, things are done anyhow. John says, when we walk in the light, when we make God our light, we have a fellowship with him and we have a fellowship with one another. Brothers, brothers and sisters, make the Lord your light. Walk in, his, walk in his light. Walk with his God. In those difficult times, in those dark moments in our lives, let God become your light. Let him become the lamp to your feet. Let him become the light to your path. And I want to assure us, we will not stumble along the way. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, there is wakare maine o yore te de o de perori kore a korurugan na o de rio shono guo o yore goroya kwa todo mwa dani e de ni tamero ori yario e ni e o kegi mwega wa jeso mumore ke tan goro jeso ari re rage di Close your eyes for a minute. Tell God thank you because of his word. Tell the Lord to help us to walk in the light, the light of God. Tell him to help you to walk with him. There are in many times we have walked with men and men have failed us. There are in many times you have put our trust in our businesses, in our jobs, in our people, in our relatives, in our wealth, in our riches, in our children. But they have failed us in many times. And so we want to tell God, help us to walk in the light. There are many challenges that have come to us. There are many dark times we have been going through. Anger, bitterness, rejection. There are curses that have come to us. There are sicknesses that have weighed us down. There are many discouragements that have put us down and we are like, we are unable to face tomorrow. Just tell the Lord to help us to walk in the light because when the light of our Father comes, darkness disappears. We want every dark moment in our lives to disappear because the light of our Father has come. Tell the Lord to become the lamp to your feet. Tell him to become the light to your path. In those places where there is no way, in those paths that have closed up for us and we know we need God to make a way for us. Just tell the Lord, Jehovah make a way for me. Jehovah go this journey with me. Make this way for me. Open these doors for me. You are light to become a path to my life, to the glory and to the honor of your name. There are those who are to trust in God because of job opportunities and they are telling God, God open these doors for me. Open these waves for me. He is a God who maketh a way. He is a God who is able to make a way where there is no way. He is a faithful father. He cares for us. Tell him, Jehovah, help me to walk in the light. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jehovah, we thank you. We worship you. We give you praise and we honor your holy name. Thank you, our Father, because this time, such a time and season, King of glory, you are reminding us that you are the light to our lives. You are the light to our path. You are the lamp to our feet, O oh God. 
And as Isaiah called the people of Jerusalem and Judah, Jehovah, you are calling us today that let us walk in the light. There are in many times we have walked in darkness, our Father. There are in many times we have been faced by dark times and dark moments, oh God. But we want to thank you, King of Glory, because whenever we have decided to walk with you, Jehovah, you who is the light in our lives, our Father, Jehovah, you have helped us to walk in you. You have helped us to remove every fear, every confusion, every doubt in our lives, oh God. Yes, Jehovah, you are the giver of joy. You are the giver of every comfort, our Father. In those dark situations, our Father, we pray, our Father, may you lighten them up for us. May you grant us joy from above. May you grant us that peace from you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are there are sicknesses upon our people, Jehovah, because of this light, our Father, Jehovah we speak your healing. Where there are illnesses and pains, our Father, King of glory, both physical, emotional, and even spiritual sicknesses, our Father, this morning we declare healing in the name of Jesus. Where King of glory, our relationship have died. We, our relationship with you have died, O oh, King of glory. We pray for revival in the name of Jesus. We want to walk with you again, our Father. We want to have a relationship with you, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Them who have come to their end, our Father. You who made a way in the sea, Jehovah, may you make a way for us in the name of Jesus. King of glory, where there is rejection, where there is hatred, where there is anger, where there is unforgiveness, and that pain, King of glory, our Father, from today we declare in our lives and in this church of Thome, in our families, oh God, in our individual lives, our Father, that your light will take charge, oh God. Your light will take charge in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Thank you because of our businesses. Thank you because of our jobs, our Father. Every work that we do with our hands, oh King of glory, we pray, our Father, your light will shine and every pain will come down. Every bitterness will come down because whenever your light comes Jehovah God all other pains they bow down to you and at your mountain there is joy at your mountain there are blessings may you grant us your blessings may you grant us your joy and may you help us to reach our destinations even as we go to the new week into your hands we commit our lives into your hands we pray that you may lead us walk with us and let your light shine so that God, glory, and honor shall be back unto you. Bless all of us together. Bless our families and bless the land of Kenya. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. God bless you and have a lovely week.